Live Leaners, here's how you can track progress with your cardio workouts. Here's one of my indoor sprint workouts on the upright cycle. You guys ready to get sweaty? Let's go. Lidley Nation, what's good? I got up, I just finished some work and I was like excited to go out to do a sprint workout. And then I walked, looked outside and this is what's going down right now. It's like, I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a snow storm happening in my city right now. So fortunately, the good thing is we have a studio in my condo building. I'm gonna take you downstairs to show you how to get a sprint workout indoors. I got my heart rate monitor on because you need to track your cardio workouts too to make sure you're progressing. Let's put on this chest strap, get some water, put it over the pads to increase that sensitivity of the heart rate monitor to your body. Strap on that chest strap. Simple like that. And we are ready to shed that fat. All right, so before we go down, obviously we need to have our workout. So as you can see, I'm getting my workout from Live Lean Sprint. We're gonna do workout number one. So there it is, there's a free workout for you guys from Live Lean Sprint. Let's go get sweaty. There's some work to be done. You ready? There is our weapon of choice, upright cycle. Go get comfortable. Make sure you have your iPhone with you. Turn on your app. Go time. Start off with a warm up just to elevate your heart rate. Here on your app, you can see that your heart rate is going to be tracked. We want to get mine up to about 125, 130, and then it's sprint time. Crank up that resistance. Let's get ready to burn through a lot of lactic acid here. Let's go. 40 seconds all out for interval sprint number one. Once again, lactic acid burn is your friend when it comes to sprinting. That is what releases growth hormone. Growth hormone blasts your fat. All right, once 40 seconds is up, that is interval number one complete. Now we need to have active recovery where we're gonna allow our heart rate to come back down. As you can see, my heart rate got up to about 170 there, but we wanna make sure during these intervals on the active recovery time, you need to let it come back down again. So I wanna get mine back down to about 130 and then it's go time. It took about two minutes to do that. Let's roll it. If you're unsure of where your heart rate should be on the high end and on the low end during your intervals, your app actually tracks that for you. Put in your weight, your age, and everything else, and it will tell you exactly where you should be. Another great thing with the app. There's another sprint done. You're gonna repeat this for a total of six sprints. 40 seconds on, about two minutes off. Track your heart rate in your app, and then during your next workout, you can see how high your heart rate goes and then how low it goes as well. So the faster your heart rate can come back down after a high interval sprint, it means your, your cardiovascular system is improving. That is a good thing. I want today's episode to be very interactive. We're talking ab training mistakes after the break. 